Zeneb, I'm gonna go to you next. Okay. I loved what you said at the altar. Watching back the show and seeing the comments that Cole made to you, I mean, he asked you if you were bipolar. He commented on your looks and said you were a nine out of 10, but Colleen was a 10 out of 10. Do you think I should have any reservations? Are you kidding me? We should just swap fiancés. What did that feel like to watch back and why did you feel like the wedding was the moment to express all of that? Um, it equally stings hearing it all again. Yeah. Um, after watching it, I find myself very much back to where I was a year ago mm -hmm. and just like kind of how I felt afterwards. So you would your... Really? I stand by everything I said. Mm -hmm. um, I used... I, I still really wanted to believe in our high highs because our highs were so great. Sure. But our lows were really low. Um, so I did fight for our love story. Um, and I really didn't know on wedding day. Like, I just kind of thought to myself, like... Wow. Something's in there, the guy's in there, like that emotional connection that I made, like the good guy that I fell in love with is there. But wedding day was the, up at that altar, he had to listen to me. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't dismiss me for having a bad attitude and he couldn't shut me down by asking about my mental health. And he couldn't tell me I wasn't being sweet enough, he had to listen. Mm. And I just told him everything that, I've really tried to have, uh, have many conversation with him about. Um, and I just wanted to share why. So he had a clear understanding of why it was a no yeah. and why it would be walking away. Did he apologize to you? Has he reached out and said sorry? He has not. We, are, we do not speak. You haven't spoken since the wedding? No. Do you think you deserve an apology? Because I do. Um, <laughs> I, des deserve, yes. Yeah. Um, Need, but not no? just like a blanket apology. Mm. I think it's like a, I, I do want it. I would want an acknowledgement of what he did. Mm. That's how I think an adult apology, a sincere apology is, right? I did this and it made you feel this way, so I am truly sorry. Um, do I deserve one? Yes. Do I need one? I, I honestly don't expect one, so I'd be surprised if I got one. Cole, gotta go to you. Okay. I talked to Zeneb. How do you feel watching back the finale and like some of the things that you made throughout the season were pretty hard to watch. You asked her if she was bipolar. You compared her looks to like other women. Like, how do you kind of feel about how you handled yourself this season? Yeah, it's hard to watch as well. Um, I think context on the bipolar comment would be nice because I didn't just, you know, out of the blue ask her that question. I also think. Um, What's the context? I don't think we have time to go okay. into that, but okay. there was. It wasn't just like a random, hey, are you bipolar? I think she had mentioned it before and said like, you probably think I'm bipolar. Okay. You know? And she did the same thing with referring to herself as ghetto. And then if I would joke about that as well, you know, now I'm in trouble for calling her ghetto, but it was a joke that she would make. Yeah. Um, so to the women thing, she asked me to rate women and I should have never even participated in that. But I mean, she asked me and I, I still, <laughs> again, there needs to be more context on that too. I, I didn't, yeah. it didn't, I, the context doesn't help there. It's never right, but I'm just saying like, there, it wasn't like, hey, I'm just gonna intentionally try to beat this girl down. Like that was not at all. Would you have said yes in hindsight if she had said yes? Like, were you ready to marry this person? Not when I feel like this, you know? When I, like uh, sometimes when I just look at all the trauma of our relationship, it mm. doesn't feel like it. But on that day, I was certainly hoping it would have gone a different direction. Are, are you dating now? Are you single? I'm single. You're single? Yeah. Have you reached out? Have you apologized? Absolutely. Oh, you I have? texted her this week. She didn't respond, but I mean, we've talked since then. She didn't respond probably because everything's just crazy right now because we're together now here in person and we're talking a lot and okay. working things out. So do you think there's a future for you guys at all or just maybe like friends? Or I just care a lot about Zeno and I know she cares about me too. And so I, I, I hope that our future is that we're there for each other. Um, but I don't know that our future needs to be something romantic or yeah. love ever again. How are you today? Are you dating? Are you healing still? Um, I am, <laughs> I am, I'm healing. I've been on a massive like self-love journey. Um, the man in my life is my therapist, Paul. He's phenomenal. <laughs> um, but I, I'm not not dating, but um, 
you know, I've dipped my toe back in the dating pool, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm okay over here. Um, so it, it's not off the table, but it's gonna really have to come to me and come correct because yeah, I'm just I'm really not I'm not gonna falter like you know fall on anything I believe in or or give in on anything I want. So sure. What are you looking for next? Oh, what am I? I heard Chris Evans is looking for the love of his oh, life. Okay. <laughs> No, um, I mean, but really, Chris, call my people. Um, yeah, I mean, a, 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 the love of my life, you know, just still more, like, pouring into myself, though. Like, yeah. I feel like if I get myself in tip-top shape and love myself the most, then I will, that right person will gravitate. Absolutely. And I'm just, I'm not in the place of, for, I'm not interested in forcing anything. Yeah, I love that. Well, we're rooting for you. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs>